She has spent her life giving, raising two sons on her own with little money to spare. Now that tragedy has hit, a Junction City woman is learning that all those good deeds did not go unnoticed. Jackie Conjato has her story. 76 Simpson Lane is the humble home of Mary Etta Stone, and it has been for 41 years. I've always said as the happiest poor person you'd ever meet. Come inside and you'll find a long overdue makeover in the works. And they had to run new water line and gas line. And One that came when Mary Etta least expected it. My first thought was a plane had hit the house. It wasn't a plane that hit three weeks ago. Rather, years of standing water underneath the house had rotted the foundation. All at once, the floors gave way. My thought was, what have I ever done in my life that I deserve this to happen? Because I thought I had just lost my home. Her insurance company refused to pay, but leaving wasn't an option. I made myself a promise when, when my children were small that the only way I'd leave this house would be feet first. That's when Mary Etta realized just how wealthy she was. A person don't know how rich they really are until all of their friends come and help you through something like this. Little by little. Winging a prayer, a dollar here and a dollar there. Donated labor and supplies came to the rescue. She brought a new mirror for the bathroom and the lights to go over it. 25 volunteer workers and 9,000 donated dollars later, Marietta has watched a nightmare transform into a dream come true. I asked the other day, I said, why is everybody doing this? And they said it's because they love me. And that's, that's the thrill of it all. Covering the news in Boyle County, Jackie Congedo, LEX 18 News.